Welcome to Electro Online. Here's our next example of how to simplify radical expressions. Here we have the square root of y to the fifth that can be rewritten as follows. It can be written as the square root of y squared times y squared times y. Again, this when you multiply together gives you y to the fifth. Why did we do that? Well, to illustrate that the square root of something squared can simply be taken outside the radical sign. Here we can write that times the square root of 10 times x squared times x squared times x. Just like we did for y to the fifth, we could write x to the fifth like that. And then in the denominator, we can say the square root of 36 can be written as the square root of 6 squared. Now we can go ahead and simplify that. For each letter or number, for each variable or number that is squared, we can simply take out the radical sign, so this can be written as y times y times the square root of y. Again, the square root of something squared simply becomes that, that item, so the square root of y squared is simply y. Same over here, times x times x, because we could take those two outside the radical sign, but 10 times x needs to stay in, times 10 times x. And in the denominator, we can take the 6 squared out, and this could simply be 6. The square root of 6 squared is simply 6. Now we can combine like terms, and we'll write it as follows. This is equal to y squared times the square root of y, times x squared times the square root of 10x, divided by 6. And then combining like terms, well, there are really no like terms, but then rewriting it a little bit, we can combine this and this, and we combine these y squared, x squared, and 6, so this can be written as x squared, y squared, divided by 6, we typically write x before the y, and then times the square root of what's left, and this would be 10 times x times y. Again, we typically write the number before the x, before the y, like that. And this would be the simplified form of our original expression, and that's how it's done.